Hi, I've made this little tutorial for people who have purchased sequences from me and it answers some of the most common questions that I get. Um, first off, I normally send the sequences in a zip file. Uh, sometimes I don't if there's only one or two. Uh, so you would unzip your sequences and put it in your document sliderama uh, sequences folder. And then the any uh, the music audio files will go in your audio folder here. Um, next you would open up your Lightorama sequence editor which I've already opened here. Click file open and let's see let's open Godzilla and uh, you will probably get this error here. This is basically telling you that the background picture which is of my house um, is not where it's looking for it. Um, you can just click it away and you can still view the animation. Uh, it'll have everything and show the animation. It just won't show the picture of my house. Now you can, uh, I don't normally send that picture out, but if you want it, you can have it. Um, I've just misnamed it here so we couldn't find it. So we'll rename it. Um, this is just in my documents slider on a folder. That's the picture name for the house. Now you have to go back to view animation and then you have to select the image which is right here. It's going to say it's too big. You're going to say yes anyway. And click OK. Now I found that you actually have to uh, close this and reopen it in order for it to work. So we'll go back and open up Godzilla. And then we will hit view animation again. And there will be the back of the house. So again, you don't have to have that. Um, you can still see everything that's going on without the picture of the house in the background, but if you would like it, uh, you're welcome to it. Okay. Some of the things you may uh, want to do when you're using this program, if you're trying to use it and actually uh, test out some of your lights, see how they're working, if you've made your faces, you want to look at them. Um, when you go to play it through the sequence editor here, make sure you click control lights. Otherwise, uh, it won't do it. Another useful thing to do is um, if you need to change the channel numbers or the Lightorama unit numbers, is to go uh, to viewing the channel configuration here. Um, it shows the face one uses a uh, Control number one, one through seven. Phase two continues on down here. So if you needed to um, set these up in a different order, if you didn't want phase one to be your unit one, you could go in here and you could just change it out and set it for whatever you want. And you can view all the different channels and their colors and what uh, unit and circuit controls it from this one screen. It's a really helpful screen. Also, this has only happened a couple of times and I'm not sure why, but if the track is not lining up exactly, if it seems it's a little uh, soon or a little late and it's not lining up like it should, under Edit and Skew Track, you can tell it at uh, 0.05 increments, which is what each one of these uh, divisions are here, you can tell the track to be skewed to the left or the right and you can set it for whatever you want here and um, hit OK and then check it again and see if it's lining up uh, more correctly or whether it's even worse than you went the wrong direction then choose the other direction and uh, again you should be able to line it back up again uh, but this has only happened a couple times and I'm not sure why